about a hundred years ago, a whole lot of people sewed. And this straight stitch machine was the hot technology of its day. Today, Today, straight st stitch machines have caught the coattails of technology and they're still a hot way to sew. I'm Kathy and this is the modern version of Sewing Tech Talk. So we have a giveaway for this video today. If you look below, you will find a handout. I'm giving you a nice handout for a great quilt that you can make. Um, also, we're having a giveaway. So if you like or comment or share this video, every time you do one of those things, you're in it for a chance to win a great pack of thread. And so go ahead and do that. While you're there, you might want to subscribe. So now let's compare these two machines. Now, this machine, this was my mother-in-law's mother-in-law's sewing machine. She inherited it from her mother-in-law and I inherited it from her. I'd rather have her back, but I love this machine. It has great sentimental value to me. And I do sew on it. I'm making a replica of, a, of an antique quilt that she would have loved and I'm using this machine. It's not the fastest machine in the whole wide world, but I love sewing on it. Now, Let's compare the two just briefly. This machine, all metal, a workhorse. Obviously, it's lasted for years and years and years. This machine, also metal. Parts of it are plastic, but most of the casting on this machine, all metal, enamel on metal. This machine is a straight stitch machine. Like I said in the introduction, you can do a whole lot with a straight stitch. Garments, Great with a straight stitch. Home decor, you use straight stitch. Making a quilt, straight stitch. I don't know of a sewing process that generally doesn't rely on the straight stitch. Now this machine comes with a whole lot of accessories. Where this machine, they were add-ons. This machine comes with walking foot, quilt guide, metal bobbins just like that featherweight right over there. It's a sturdy machine that's going to last you for a long long time. But one of the big deals that I really like is while I love sewing on this, it's kind of slow. That's okay. It's a nice leisurely experience. It is a dead simple machine to operate. This machine also really simple to operate. I do have a few more choices but it goes 1,500 stitches a minute. I don't use them all the time, but it's nice to know that they're there when I need them. So, really similar machines, but where it counts, this one has come to the modern age. So let me put my beautiful little featherweight in its case, waiting for me to come to it on a special day, and let's go through the Baby Lock Accomplish because it's a sweet machine. So this machine comes with a lot of accessories. Let's talk about those. First of all, it comes with a knee lever and this knee lever lifts and lowers the presser foot when you want to keep all hands on your project. So you use it with your knee. It doesn't make the machine go. It lifts and lowers the presser foot. Also comes with an extension table, which is a really nice big accessory. Let's get that put on. And the nice thing about this extension table is there's easy access to the bobbin area. The bobbin goes in from the side, just like on that featherweight, but uh, it's easy to get to and leave the extension table on. Now, just like that featherweight also, there's a pressure gauge right up here. This one, however, gives you a visual on how much pressure you're putting on that pressure foot. So for a heavier weight fabric, you might put additional pressure, or if it's thick and bulky, you might want to loosen that up. If a fabric's squirrely, you might want to put additional pressure. Now, notice that these, this pressure dial has a color codes. That's going to relate to over here. We'll get over there in just a second. This is the threading system and it's really very simple. The one big difference is that you may not have seen on any other machine is it has a system here of three holes and you thread that just like a candy cane. Because this machine can sew so fast, 1500 stitches a minute, you'll want to put your thread through there and that's going to take any twists in the thread out before it reaches the needle. 
Speaking of the needle, this machine has a needle threader, which is super handy. Very simple to use because that needle threads from the outside in. With the needle threader, it's simple. Now, this machine has four different settings for the feed dogs, and they're right over here, and they're easy to access. The very first one is the gray area, and it is completely lowering your feed dogs for free motion stitching. It comes with a free motion foot and tons of area to get those big quilts in there. The next one is the red area, and that is the pin feed. Now the pin feed is something you may not have seen on your other machines. What that does is the feed dogs work like a traditional machine, but there's a tiny pin that comes in right along the seam line, comes up through your fabric and pulls the fabric through and then drops. So that pin is really helping you pull fabrics through. It's great for bulky fabrics that don't want to cooperate. Velvets, uh, that minky or cuddle fabric, any fabric that gets a little squirrely. I also like to use it if I'm sewing at high speed because it helps me sew straight and true when I'm riding this like a racehorse. The next one is the blue area and I call that feed dogs light. It's for lightweight fabrics. They don't come all the way up. So for those fabrics, you can have a gentle feed dog. And don't forget, you can adjust your pressure and it gives you the recommended blue area to go with the blue area over here. So it's color coded, super simple to operate. The next setting is green and that's all the feed dogs all the time. So for heavyweight fabrics, when you want a lot of grab and pull through, you want extra pressure on that. It's gonna really help you control those fabrics. Now up above, we have the scissors, and the scissors are uh, your scissors on demand. They're gonna clip your threads when you finish sewing that seam. All you do, push the button, and it's gonna clip those threads. This is the needle stop position. When that red light is on, that means that when you take your foot off the foot control, that the needle's gonna stay in the down position. Don't want that? Press the button, the light goes off, and the needle is gonna stop in the top position. Super simple to operate. This is your stitch length dial. You can have a very large stitch all the way down to whatever stitch works for you for your projects. Very simple. Now, there's a ton of feet that also come with this machine. It's a high shank machine and it comes with feet that are specially designed for this machine. I'm gonna call this machine, I could be wrong, I'm gonna call it a semi-industrial. Why? Because it sews really fast, it does one thing, the straight stitch, and it does it really, really well. This is the walking foot that comes with the machine. It's a really nice, heavy-duty walking foot. Now, no walking foot likes to go really fast, and it gives you a warning on the side not to go 1,500 stitches a minute with this walking foot. It attaches like any traditional walking foot, and it's a heavy-duty one, just like the machine's a heavy-duty machine. This machine comes with two different straight stitch feet. One of them is just your standard straight stitch foot, but the other one is called a flex action foot. Now this machine sews on a variety of, of thicknesses, fabrics. This foot is really nice because it has a flex in the front and a flex in the back. Where would you use that? Well, bulky fabrics, or have you ever tried to hem that pair of jeans and when you're coming off that big thick seam, you want to keep your foot flat? Well, this foot, it's going to do it. I see no reason why you wouldn't leave this foot on almost all the time because it's going to work even when you don't know it's going to work. It comes with a quarter inch foot. The quarter inch foot has different guide markings for where a quarter inch is and a quarter inch before and behind the needle. So you can know if you want to stop. My favorite part of this machine is it has the world's best seam guide. I don't know why they make, don't make a seam guide like this for every machine. I'm gonna put it on in a little bit. You're gonna be blown away by this seam guide. It's completely adjustable side to side, up and down. It goes exactly where you want it to go. Oh, and oh, by the way, it would work for a uh, guide for doing your grid quilting as well. A zipper foot or a foot for sewing next to something that's really tall. 
heavyweight cording. Almost a lot of your home decor has that cording in the seam. This is totally adjustable to go by any kind of cording that you want to put in. Free motion foot. It has a clear view and a single needle hole plate. Now when you're free motioning a lot on another machine, you're going to want to go with that single needle hole plate, that single stitch hole plate that's very small. This machine, <laughs> it comes with that, so you don't have to change it. A rolled hem foot. We're getting so many feet. A rolled hem foot. We're going to play with this in a little bit. And an invisible zipper foot. So if you're putting in a zipper that's not the traditional and you're putting in an invisible zipper, Great, comes with that special foot. So let's go through most of these feet one at a time. I really want to show you this quilt guide because I just love it. So let me get some fabric and we'll switch out and I'll show you how to put the feet on and especially how this awesome seam guide, seam, seam guide works. So now the seam guide works with any of these five feet that come with the machine. It works with a straight stitch, the rolled hem, the invisible zipper foot, and I have the quarter inch foot on the, on the machine. So let's see how it adjusts. What I really like about it is the fact that it adjusts from side to side and from front to back. So I can take it over here to the, to the left, I can lure, they can adjust both of these little knobs, I can have it closer to the needle, farther away, wherever I want. Now, here's the other thing. On the, on the needle plate of the machine, you have three different guides that are like little grooves. It's a quarter inch, a half inch, and that five-eighths of an inch is what you use for most garment seams. These are little grooves. That means you can take the, the seam guide, bring it over, tighten it on down and that metal fits into that groove. So when I'm sewing, actually I can't, I can't take the fabric over too far to the right. Because it's in the groove, nothing can go past it. But this fabric ravels like crazy. I love the way it looks, but if you're quiet, you can just hear it raveling right now. Nothing you can do about it. If you've ever been sewing and you have these little threads that are coming off that keep caught on your seam guide, uh, on your quarter inch foot, or any kind of seam guide, you'll get like a little stack of hay there where those little threads get, 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 a, get they can't go past. So this seam guide is adjustable. So I'm going to bring it up just a hair. It's still going to help me guide the fabric, but those threads are going to pass right underneath. I love it. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to lower that presser foot. And don't forget, I have the knee lever on the side if I want to lift or lower the presser foot to making the adjustments as I'm going. Now, this machine, like I said, stitches really, really fast. Don't be scared. You don't have to sew that fast. The foot pedal is extremely responsive. I'm going to see how slow I can go. Let me find that foot pedal. There it is. that speed that my featherweight would go. But if I feel the need, the need for speed, I can really get some quilting done fast. Did you notice how responsive that foot was? I could go really slow, delicate, do that custom precision work that I want to do, but I can really kick it when I need to. When I get done, Press the scissors, use my knee lever to lift that foot, and I can strip piece like the wind. So, really fun. Now, I can also adjust that seam guide if I want to do any miniatures. If I'm doing these really teeny tiny seams, remember, I can completely adjust the seam guide and it works even with my straight stitch foot, which has a smaller profile than this quarter inch foot. So, let's talk about that invisible zipper. We're going to take off this foot and the seam guide and we're going to show, I'm going to show you really quickly how this invisible zipper goes in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the foot and the seam guide. Now remember, no feet on this machine are snap on and off. I'm going to have to screw them on and off every time. Like I said, it can go fast. So, you want all the feet to be super secure. Off comes the foot. It has an extra high lift as well. I'm going to put that aside. Let's bring in this invisible zipper foot. It fits on
All right, so I got my invisible zipper foot on. It looks kind of different than most of the feet that you've ever seen. It's a foot with grooves, special grooves on the bottom. Now an invisible zipper has the teeth of the zipper hidden. They kind of pull back away from the front. And if you, I open it up on the back, you might be able to see that I can open up that side and what it's going to do is it's going to, I want to stitch right in that exact sweet spot. When I get the zipper in on both sides, it really completely invisibly closes that seam. It looks like a seam and yet the zipper works great. It's a beautiful application. So let's put the zipper in. Here's my zipper. I'm going to open it up. Now you can press this if you choose. I find that it works pretty good. I'm going to find the side of the foot that works the best for putting this in. I'm going to take it, open it up just a little bit, get that in that groove of the foot, lower it on down. Now I don't have to adjust my needle. This is a straight stitch machine. This foot has been designed to work with the needle position of this machine. I really, if I want to adjust my stitch length, I can, but everything's going to work just right out of the can. So I'm going to get that on in there, adjust everything out, and I'm going to slow pretty slow on this one. But it's going to open up that seam for me and get right in that zipper sweet spot. Now all I have to do, zip up the zipper, line everything up, and sew the other side. Pretty fast, pretty easy. Now the other thing that you can do is you have a rolled hem foot that comes with the machine. A rolled hem is that tiny little rolled edge that turns the edge of the fabric under. It kind of looks like a corkscrew on the very end of it. It has a little corkscrew and as you pull the fabric through, it's going to pull the fabric and turn it completely under. Let's take this other foot off and get this foot going. Now, I could change threads here. I think I'm going to go with what I have. Bring the fabric on in and you're going to have to have a little bit of a ramp up for to sew this seam. So if you're doing that rolled hem, the very beginning of this is not going to look very pretty. It never is. So give yourself a little bit extra room at the very beginning to get that roll going. Put it in, lower the foot, and your job is to keep it right about there so that it's just going to perfectly roll it on over. Pretty sweet. So this machine comes with a variety of feet, feet for doing oh, just about anything you want to with a straight stitch. Don't forget. A lot of things get sewn with a straight stitch. This does that straight stitch and it does it really, really well. So I think you might enjoy the Baby Lock Accomplish. It's a great machine. It's that featherweight all grown up. If you want a super simple machine to operate, that's always going to be there for you and it's going to last the test of time. The Baby Lock Accomplish might be the machine for you. So. Uh, don't forget, I've given you a handout for a really fun quilt that can you all be done on this machine. It's fun. I call it Sunset and Vine. And don't forget to go get that handout because I always want to give you a thank you for staying with me, watching me, and seeing what technology now has come to be. So George, tell me about the Accomplish and do you have a deal? Thanks, Kathy. Once again, that was a great presentation. Don't forget, you could click on the link to download the instructions to today's presentation. Now, the Baby Lock Accomplish is not the ordinary machine. It is a powerhouse machine that is built on a platform that is industrial quality. From the all metal commercial rotary hook to the very unique pin feed 
This pin feed actually has a pin that comes up through the fabric when the needle comes up. And so what that does, it eliminates any possibility of slippage. Use this with many of the different accessories like shown here with the commercial quality walking foot attachment going through multiple layers of Naga hide and then also for your quilting. But also I love this flexible uh, foot for going over denim seams and then working with sheer fabric as well. Speaking of accessories, we have this wonderful guide that guides uh, a position for your quarter inch or your stitch in a ditch uh, sewing. So this machine is perfect for the quilter, it's perfect for the bag maker, for it, just that high performance straight sewing that you're looking for in a sewing machine. So this machine right here is at a very special price right now. It normally has a retail price of $1,899. Right now it's on sale for $9.99 and we are offering free shipping across the country. Don't wait though, we have a limited supply of these. Click on the link and order your machine today. If you have any questions, call us at 1-800-865-9664. Bye for now.